One, I would say all, all things for the better. You should expect leadership. You should expect some direction and you should expect an advocate in your corner. Um, <clears throat> most of the companies that I work for, the situations that I'm walking into, they've never had anyone in that role before. Right. Um, so they might have a junior marketing person who's you know doing the execution end of things, but they've never had anyone at that leadership level. <clears throat> so really take this as an opportunity to one, learn, um, to advocate for things, use that person as your advocate, um, be communicative, you know, share what's going on so that that CMO can advocate for <clears throat> you and advocate for, um, you know, the tasks and things that you want to see happen. Um, you shouldn't really see a change in your job, but the workflow would hopefully be smoother <clears throat> and you should feel more informed. You should have, again, you have that voice from the C-suite who should, can inform you about the big picture goals where we're going and what your role is in, in helping to get there. And probably um, at some point, uh, a comfort that you're not just doing um, like the, that you're doing the right work at the right, right time. A validation. Right. A validation for sure. Mm -hmm. And that like, you know, there's a sort of a guidance and a strategy. It's not just like, let's do this and then that do that. You know, sort of like at the whim of someone who just read another article about marketing. Yeah, it's really, it's, uh, I used to work for, um, an admiral and he always said, you know, Andrea, know the why. <laughs> so yeah. you're not just doing these things and, you know, so-and-so is doing these things and so-and-so is doing these things. There is a big picture. There is a plan. So let's know the why and understand the why. And that does help. Um, it helps you with clarity and helps you feel better about your job as well.